the audience here tonight? Well, that, that 
brings me to the next question. It has, is there anything about leadership and having to play the alpha that you've actually learned from Jeremy in your yeah. own life? You know, it's, it's really interesting because, uh, you know, I have three kids, and you come to a point in your life when you may be 40 around there where you, you start to take stock of yourself as a man. And what does that mean? How do we find ourselves? And it's been a really nice um, call and answer with this, with this role. Just, just sort of how I define myself in relation to my family, to my kids, to try to be a man they can look up to. You start to own your own weaknesses and maybe you accept that and forgive yourself in, in a certain way. You understand you are what you are. You are even better, but you have to accept that this is what I am. And um, and that's the, the dilemma for Jeremy because he's a new type of alpha and he really has to, he has to question whether what he does is the right thing because what he does is important. And we need to own that as men in our society. We really need to own that. So not only do you get to be an awesome guest, where we want to do it, it's like free psychotherapy for you. you. Really <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, all right. Greg, Greg is the therapist on the set as well. He's, he's, well, he's got the answers. He's amazing. He's an elephant on and on. the actual therapist. Yeah, Ken's <laughs> That's what that's on you too, I like it. <laughs> now, I think we can all agree that these werewolves look absolutely amazing. And I want to know how you do this. How do you do these werewolves? Do you have wolves? Do you have animatronics? What, what are you doing to make them look so great? Well, these guys, most of them work out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I think that you're, you're referring to the, uh, the actual, actual wolves. wolves. The actual wolves, yeah. Yeah, but we, uh, you know, we've made a commitment to making uh, photo real wolves. And we, we, uh, in the early stages of pre-production, we were exploring how we were going to realize these wolves on camera. And we, we met with animal trainers, we met with puppeteers, and animatronic operators, and ultimately we decided to take a, a big bold leap and go full CGI. So every frame of every wolf you see in Bitten is absolutely 100% CGI. Computer generated on CGI. Thanks. So it's, uh, it actually really involves uh, shooting just plate shots. And uh, everything is, is uh, carefully storyboarded in the pre-production process. And uh, we, we make these plates and send to our uh, visual effects producers. And they create everything from scratch. And there's literally uh, anywhere between 1.8 and 2 million hair follicles on each of oh, those yeah. avatars. And it's, it's a painstaking and uh, artful process. So, Laura, you kick amazing ass. Woo! Uh, uh, it's like Buffy all over again. You're just out there <laughs> kicking ass. You know, I grew up loving Buffy, so I appreciate that. See, there you go. So you're so you're inspired by Buffy, and now you're inspiring a whole new generation of girls, uh, just like Buffy. What is your training? What's your background? How do you do this? I, well, I wanted to be Buffy. Um, I grew up doing martial arts. I started when I was about seven and did it until I was about 20. And I have my second degree black belt in Shotokan. So that's sort of my background. So that's my background. And um, they allowed me to use it on the show. And it's I, I love doing stunts, and we have a great stunt coordinator, John Stead, who knows what I'm capable of and allows me to unleash it. And knows when to piss her off. And that's not <laughs> exactly. Like everybody here. So <laughs> you can kick everybody's butt at this, at this table right now. Maybe not this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can kick it <laughs> But yes, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not Dag and I have <laughs> Michael, uh, Logan seems to be the one with the most control over his animal alter ego. Your psychiatrist, you, you, you know this world, but uh, the way things ended, will he be able to uh, stay calm, cool, and collected this season? He's a little, he's a little compromised there at the end. Uh, well, I hope not, because you know I think we all tune in to watch them <laughs> sort of lose their cool a little bit, or at least fight, them. fight to keep their cool um, and keep control of the world. Especially with Logan, I mean, he's built this world with this woman that he loves, and uh, they have a baby on the way. So he's seeing his future, like he's seeing his, his future begin to unfold uh, before his eyes. And you know, at the 
unexpected moments plucked out from under him. So he's got to fight to, to, to get that back. And whether or not he does, I mean, that may, you know, it's yet to be seen. But, you know, he's, uh, I think if, I, I think if he was, if he would keep cool through the entire process, then there wouldn't be much point in watching what happens. So, uh, yeah, I, I think the fun part is him losing. Well, one of the nice things about the show, and you know, both you and uh, yours character share, is that they're, they're trying to uh, bridge two definite worlds, and they feel responsible so much to both of them. So it's, it's these incredibly huge conflicts. And, uh, I mean, Laura, can you speak to that, I mean, for, for your character in the first season, where she's uh, trying to live this life, and is, is, is looking at moving on, and then gets sucked back in. Like, as soon as you try and walk away, they it's suck you right back in. <laughs> relationship. Um, yeah, she, the first season she's struggling with being a woman and, and, and her werewolf side and she is drawn to being with the pack but she's denying it so much and trying to convince herself that she can live a normal life. Um, and the nice, that was, that was fun to play. I loved playing her being torn between the two worlds. Um, but this season it's like green lights all the way. She knows exactly who she is. She's taken names. Um, it's, it's been a lot of fun this season, you know, she's uh, pretty badass. Um, and the first season getting to know the characters and their struggles was very important to the plot. Uh, and, and now it's just nice to see that she, you know, she doesn't apologize for anything. And that's also what I'm going to